everybody and welcome to my stream for Final Fantasy X HD Remaster. Now, we're going to continue obviously from where we left off. Um, we saved Yuna, yay! But we got captured, boo! <laughs> so, uh, basically we are currently imprisoned by um, Yevon and we are now uh, trapped and basically there's going to be a, a big trial with the maesters. So you can imagine how this is going to go, can't you? So let's get right into it. I'm just on the uh, loading screen because, well, the save data obviously screen, because I don't want to like, obviously skip cutscenes all of a sudden. So um, yeah, we're just going to load it up. And there we go. The High Court of Yevon is now in session. Okie dokie. We're getting right into it then. <laughs> Great. The sacred officers of this court seek nothing but absolute truth in Yevon's name. To those on trial, believe in Yevon and speak only the truth. Maester Kelk Ronso. Thank you for telling me who it is, Lulu. Summoner Yuna. Yep. What do you want? You have sworn to protect the people of Yevon, true? Yes. Then consider. You have inflicted dire injury upon Maester Seymour Guado. Not just dire Conspired injury, we actually with killed the him. Albed <laughs> and joined in their insurrection. I'm part Albed. These are traitorous and unforgivable crimes that disturb the order of Yevon. Yep, but I'm still a summoner, so... Tell shush. this court what possessed you to participate in such violence. Seymour the killed others. his dad. That's basically what started it all. The real traitor is Maester Seymour. He killed his father Jisco with his own hands. You go, Yuna. What is this? It's true. Hmm? Haven't you heard? <laughs> He's not even denying it. Not only that, Maester Seymour is already dead. It is a summoner's sacred duty to send the souls of the departed to the far plane. That's true. Yuna was only doing her job as a summoner. Yeah, you say it like it is, Lulu. Grand Maester Micah. Please, send Seymour now! Send the unsent to where they belong? Yes. That's pretty obvious, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> Uh-oh. He's doing an evil laugh. That can only mean send one thing. Send the dead? Hmm? You're dead, aren't you? Shocker. Uh. Yep, it's just corrupted. You through would and have through. To send me to. What? Grand Maester Micah is a wise leader. Even in death, he is invaluable to Spira. Is he really? <laughs> Enlightened rule by the dead is preferable to the misguided failures of the living. <laughs> Life is but a passing dream. But the death that follows is eternal. Men die, beasts die, trees die, even continents perish. Yeah, that's the way of life. Only the power of death truly commands in spirit. Because it's a constant? Resistance is that what you're trying to say? Because of it being a constant? But what a sin! I am a summoner, my lord. Like my father before me, I am on a pilgrimage to stop the death that sin brings. Are you... are you telling me that too is futile? Probably so, yeah. Grand Maester Micah, I am not alone. Oh. All the is people it rising? who have opposed <laughs> sin, their battles, their sacrifices, were they all in vain? <laughs> Not in vain. No matter how many summoners give their lives, sin cannot be truly defeated. I'm pretty sure 
pretty sure the it can. Cannot be stopped. Yet the courage of those who fight gives the people hope. There is nothing futile in the life and death of a summoner. Never futile, but never ending. Mm. But there has to be a way to end it. Indeed, that. that is the essence of the heaven. That's awful. I don't like it. Oh, my God. But that was delayed. <laughs> the is embodied by eternal, unchanging continuity. Summoner. That can't be right. I agree, Yuna. Those who question these truths, they are traitors. Lord Micah! Great. Well, I don't think our trial went very well. <laughs> yeah, it definitely didn't go well at all. <laughs> Get me out of here! I want out now! You hear me? You waste your breath. You can actually fit through that, you know. Man, I hope Yuna's okay. Hmm. She's strong. She'll make it. She'll make it? Well, what? So sure she can she die? No, not so she can die. Jesus <sighs> Christ. <laughs> Why is it everything in Spira seems to revolve around people dying? Not a lot uh, I can say on that one, I'm afraid. Of death. Huh? Summoners challenge the bringer of death, sin, and die doing so. Guardians give their lives to protect their summoner. Yep, that's true. The faith are the souls of the dead. Even the maesters of Yevon are unsent. Spira is full of death. Well, only my sin fault. is reborn, and then only to bring more death. It is a cycle of death, spiraling endlessly. <sighs> How lovely. Come out. Your sentence has been decided. Sentence? Don't you mean execution? <laughs> really, now, what person would execute a dear friend? You. You would. And that's pretty simple. You definitely would. Don't trust you, man. Oh, what's happening here? Oh, okay, my sentence. Yay! Looks like you're next. Cool. Yeah, next or what? Whee! Ah! Get going. Okay. You know I can Where's swim. Where's everybody else? Floating down there somewhere, maybe. <laughs> but I can swim. <laughs> You know, you didn't really pick this one very well, dude. I can swim. I can hold my breath for a very long time. I'm a Blitzball player. Ooh, you made Locker? it! Oh my god, the, the three characters that can swim, you put in the pool. What's our sentence? Drowning. Think they expect us to give up and die down here? Ugh, well that's a lame way to kill someone. Where's Uni? I don't know. I wonder if we should wait for her. Hmm. Let's wait at the exit. If there is an exit. How fair is the run so missed? Well, you gave him a lot of truth. Let's put it, it that way, you know? seems my father's murder troubles her. Well, yeah, it would. Oh, the doom robber. Hello, <laughs> how are you? Nice to see you. <laughs> Ever the answer. Hard-headed. How are you doing, Hard by the way? However. Good. Oh, the summoner glad to hear Luna, it. daughter to High Summoner Braska. She may be of some use to us alive. Really? It's 
nice she to be has back. <laughs> the order of Yevin. She cannot oh, well, I be hope you enjoyed the stream. I really do. I understand. Let it go, Seymour. Oh, no. We no have one a thrown into the Via frozen Purifico has ever survived. Frozen even began. <laughs> Yet there is always a small chance that they might. Place guards at the exit. Kill any who emerge. <laughs> Sir, That's brilliant, leave that to me. It? <laughs> oh, first your father, now your bride. Allow me to do this because she is my bride. Wait. Yeah, I will go too. yeah basically. <laughs> you do not trust me? Would you trust a man who murdered his father? Very well. As you wish. Oh boy, you're next on his list. You know that Keenock, right? He is definitely next on it. your list. Lady Yuna, forgive me. Alright. Oh, we're controlling Yuna. Sweet. Stone panels are scattered throughout the Via Perifico. Step on one to transport yourself to the next panel in the indicated direction. Nothing will happen if there is no panel to receive you at the far end. Cool. Alright. Nice. So, not only do we have Yuna back, but we're also controlling Yuna. <laughs> I was not expecting this. I'm sorry. <laughs> right, let's see if we can actually find everyone then. Alright, let's just have a big look around ourselves. Let's see what we can find. We do. Oh, we found enemies. Great. Alright. <laughs> I don't really have that much, you know. At least I have this magic now. At least I can cast magic. I mean, yeah, it's only like low level magic, but at least I have something. Uh, that's electricity, isn't it? Yep, fuck up. There we go, and another one. It was blizzard, wasn't it? <laughs> nice. <laughs> anyone because this is a bit oh wait a minute someone's over there who is it lulu lulu i it's okay i know you know what i don't know anything all right cool so we got lulu that's good okay so we need to find kimari and Obviously, so that one's not working. That's fine. Oh, oh bloody hell! Well, these are fairly easy to defeat. To be fair, let's do this. Need a good jolt. Unit did more damage than the uh, black mage did. What the heck is that? The magic must be a lot higher than landfish. Yeah, basically they are landfish <laughs> in a way. But we did actually fight them in the past in the um, in the water. Oh, uh, that's a dead end. <laughs> okay, let's uh, keep going this way. All right, let's try. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Camera. Uh, oh, that's blocked. Okay, we can't go that way. That's fine. Uh, I just want to get all the party members first and then try and figure out what's going on with this area. Oh, it's just fun to go through and through. That's fine. That's easy enough. Boop. And a boop. Snap. Okay. Next block. Might as well just stick with just using regular thunder. At least then that way I'm doing more damage. <laughs> You know what I mean? Because otherwise if we just do an attack it's just literally just going to be boom, nothing. <laughs> like probably a hundred or something. <laughs> right, there we are. Alright, oh, we found someone else. Orin! There must be an exit somewhere. We search. 
Right, I already know where the exit is. It is literally right in front of us right now. But we're not going that way. We're going to have a big explore around this area because we don't actually come back to this area at all. There's no way we can actually come back here. So we need to make sure that we grab everything before we even carry on. Oh, Kimari! Yay, I found Kimari! Yuna, sorry we left you alone. Could you even no. turn yourself up or reduce okay. the game volume? Because it's a bit hard to hear you at times. Yeah, of course I can. Sorry about that. Just hold on one moment. I'll just leave it like this. It's not going to be a problem. Let's turn me up. There we go. Is that a bit better at all? Just wait for the uh, chat, just in case. If not, I'll lower the game a bit. Yeah, oh great, that's brilliant. All right, if you have any if issues with the volume again, let me know because the thing is with this game is that sometimes it can be really quiet and then all of a sudden, bam, loads of noise. <laughs> so yeah, thank you for telling me though about the volume. Um, originally it was set to this, but obviously it um, didn't work. <laughs> All right, so whoops, we pressed a bit too much. There we are. And wait a minute, what am I doing? Oh, it's Orin. Oops, nearly had Orin do a bloody magic spell. That's not really very good, is it? He's not a magic person at all. He's slashy slash, not zappy zap. Lovely view for everybody there from Lulu. Much obliged on that one. Oh, <laughs> dead end. I was wondering what was happening. All right, so we made it fully around, but there is an area that we can't get to. So what we need to do is try and sort out a way to fix this. Okay, first off though, let's go into our sphere grid. Let's see if we can actually do anything. You can cast, you can learn to spell. And you can actually get a magic up, that's the fine. You can learn death. And then we have to go back here and go around, and then you can learn these, which are the higher tier ones. Nice! I have no idea what is happening, never played or watched Final Fantasy. Still fun to be here though. Ah, oh, yeah, thank you so much. Um, if you ever want to watch the streams back so you can start from the very beginning, um, I think they're still available on Twitch, but they're also available on my YouTube stream archive as well. Uh, the link is in the um, Twitch channel. Um, if you need um, any insight or if you have any questions about the game, don't worry, let me know, um, because this is my all-time favourite game, so I can answer any questions you have. Don't worry about that at all. Okay, so that one doesn't work. So it's the one down here, so... Whoops! Alright, so... Is not an option. We're gonna try and do this. Oh, I could do that, or I can jump head f uh, first <laughs> into the deep end. That is entirely up to you, whichever you want to do. But, um, in this game, I've actually not got 100% uh, completion, like, on the uh, trophies. I'm actually missing two achievements, and that's to do with chocobo races. And the chocobos are the big yellow birds. <laughs> that, that are like ostriches in a way. <laughs> um, I wish I could show you actually a picture of what one looks like. So, all right. Um, I think I remember how to do this. I got a step on the uh, platform when it's actually heading um, west, I believe, on this one. So let's wait. Uh, go. There we go. And um, Sigmif. Hi, Sigmif. How are you doing? Right, so that's heading west. Uh, I think that's the wrong one though, so let's, let's try let's try again with the west or no. North, maybe? No, okay. Uh I think it's actually the platform at the end. Yeah, I think it's the actual platform at the end. But let's let's try and figure this out. Let's um go back. 
quick drop by while at work. I'm good. You? Yeah, I'm absolutely fine. Thank you. I just buy trophies on the PS4 because my fave game is Titanfall 2. Ah, Sigrith loves that game. And the other was one achievement that prevented me from getting 100%. Oh, no. That is terrible. I'm so sorry about that. Still have yet to get it. Oh, that is not good at all. I am so sorry about that. Trying to remember, uh, Lulu. Does I think there's something that I missed near Lulu's position? Dang. All right, you know what? Go back. Because I'm pretty sure that is actually near this. It's underrated. It definitely is. Is there any way I can? Yeah, this is where Lulu was. So there's glyphs somewhere. Trying to remember where it is. Wait, you come across chests containing stuff. Good luck, mate. You'll get it eventually. Did, oh. did you 100% the game? Oh, that's a good question for Sigma. That that is really good question. And Orin, I hate this place too. You're not the only one. Whoops. Come on. There we go. Definitely Bunny still has to finish off the campaign on my channel. Yes, I do. But to be honest with you, it's been ages since we played it. So I actually can't remember that much of it. Nope, just played it for fun. Yeah, most people actually do play it for fun. Ah, here we go. I found the area. I remember it now. So I've got to touch this. Did I just grow all of a sudden? Yeah, I did. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Uh, right, so that's the... Touched. Okay. Let's try and figure this out. No. I'm trying to figure this out. isn't going to go anywhere, but let's just touch that. That should take us back. Hey. This is annoying. Alright. Can you actually take me north by any chance? Let's try it. Take me north. Let's try this one going west. Is that west? No, it's the other way. Let's try that. <laughs> try this one. No. How do we do this? This is really confusing. This is so confusing. I'm not gonna lie. If I can't do this, then I'm just gonna probably leave it to it, but I'm sure there's a way I can do it. Uh, I bet we'll still <laughs> back to work I go have fun everyone oh well thank you so much for joining for a bit Sigma I really do appreciate it and you will hate the spectres ah. <laughs> talking about uh, Titanfall 2 huh no one nice and um, fire for that one but you know what let's just do a higher one yeah <laughs> There we go. Alright. It's just trying to remember everything I need to do. It's a bit of a... a bit of a pain. Trying to remember. Hmm. Ah, I think I need to bring... 
bring it here. Right, got it. Alright. Let me just go back. Oh. Okay, great. Another fight. <laughs> trophies earlier yes um uh, this is on um the pc um i always call them trophies because that's basically what i'm used to saying to be fair right you know what let's try it pointing the other way if it's not that one then it's the one behind us yeah if it's the one behind okay Oh, okay, I can't go that way. I gotta go around. Hey. Take me down there. Thank you. <laughs> Alright. Let's wait a second. This is where it becomes a bit of a pain. Right. So we got it there. Okay, so maybe we need to go somewhere else with this one, maybe? Sorry about this one being quite a lot of trial and error, it's just that with this particular area, I just can't remember how, it, how I do it. I really don't. But I will get there, eventually. It's a pain, but hey-ho, we'll get there. <laughs> go right maybe I have to go this way no is it south again does this game have the tag psychological torture um no actually <laughs> it doesn't because it this seems like it should yeah especially with puzzles like this when it doesn't actually explain properly what it is you need to do it's a bit of an issue but the thing is, if I don't get this, then I basically just miss out on a few items, which isn't really a big deal, I suppose. So I'll give it a few more tries, and if I can't figure it out, then... Yeah. <laughs> if I can't figure it out, I can't figure it out. It's just one of those where, like, a bit of a pain. Right, maybe we try this one going through the other way, maybe? No. Uh, north then. <laughs> I think this is the same as the other one, to be fair. But... It's just trial and error for three hours, I'll Google it. Yeah, I don't really want to Google it because I've, I've done it before and it is kind of annoying that, like, I know what it is I have to do, but it's just a matter of actually doing it, if that makes sense. But like I said, if I can't figure it out, you know, it gives other people a chance to actually try and figure it out themselves, if that makes sense, you know? So I wouldn't really say it was a problem. Right, so that went south. annoying this is very annoying oh i'm back at the beginning oh great okay yippee are you excited for slime rancher 2 yes i am i'm definitely excited that's definitely going to be a uh, stream on this channel you know what are you doing <laughs> well we just had our first glitch everybody <laughs> well actually um that's the first glitch of the stream anyway <laughs> Right, you know what? We're just gonna go north and then we're gonna go to the other side. Back to square one. Yeah, basically. <laughs> but at least we can actually like get back to where we were before. So I guess it's not that much of a problem. No. Screw it! I can't figure it out. I can't figure it out. What's the same 
save here and then I'll see if I can figure this out because this is annoying. Shrine in Breath of the Wild. Wow. Yeah, I, can, I feel your pain. I know exactly the pain. And she's doing it once again. Are you just going to stand there and then look down? Yes. <laughs> Why are you doing this constantly? Right, let's have another look. Because it's this one here that we're trying to get through. Might be something amiss, which is annoying. I don't want this stream to be just me stuck in this puzzle area. I really don't. But like I said, if I miss it, I miss it. It's just basically giving us, from what I remember, some money, a sphere for the sphere grid, which is our place for leveling up, and a piece of equipment. So I don't really think it's a problem at the moment. See, we need to get figure it out to go in there. That's what we're trying to figure out, how to actually get that. Upgraded oh, landfish. <laughs> well, you haven't actually seen the main bad guy for this game, I don't think, yet. Um, which is called Sin. Um, so, if you want to see him, I would definitely say Google it. But the best way I can describe him, actually, is Space Whale. <laughs> yeah, he is literally a Space Whale. That's the best way I can actually describe him right now. The bad guy is Sin, S-I-T. <laughs> Sin, S-I-N for this one, uh, Sin. Right. Okay, so you know what? I'm gonna press down and then go across and then maybe left again on that one. I don't know. It's really f confusing me. I'm at a loss for this one. I'm not gonna lie. I'm at a loss. Go. And I clipped into the floor this time. <laughs> I thought it was Sid from Ice Age. <laughs> oh, no, it's not. It's not. Right, come on. No. For God's sake. Why can't I figure this out? This is annoying, like, the amount of times I've played this, and I've done this before, but I can't remember how I do it. This is really annoying. This is really, really annoying. Right, so this one, the only way I can go is to the right. And alive. Oh, that's north. For God's sake. I hate it when it gives you like a little time limit. You should be able to just stand on it and then decide which way you want to go. One quick Google later. <laughs> right, come on, take me back. Jesus Christ. I can't spend all the bloody stream doing this, can I? Alright, take me north. That's west. You're taking me the wrong way again. God's sake! This bloody game with the controls, sometimes I do hate it, it's annoying. Go. Right, I'm just going to get to the uh, next point. What's stopping you? It's the fact that it's not teleporting me to where I need it to go. Like, I'm, I'm just at a loss. Because I need to go northwest, so... It's that bit. It's not taking me where I need to go. It's annoying. Right. Doopy-doo. Take me that way. No. See? I have my afternoon clear. I will be 100% willing to sit here until you figure it out. 
Yeah, I know, um, it's just a bit of a pain. Um, right. So, I activated the glyph thing on the south wall. Uh, right, let me just look into this. Hold on one second. Uh, figure it out. This is annoying me. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Um, man alive. I'm just gonna have to check this online i don't know what i'm doing at the minute i really hate to do this but even like i got the strategy guide and even this isn't making any sense <laughs> right let's have a look what this person says online let's have a look Oh, come on. 
You would have reached with a staff. Why couldn't you reach with your sword and your spear? want you to run away. Ah. Right. Zap. Wow. Didn't die. Okay. I'll be damned. <laughs> Oof. Right. There we go. And I leveled up as well. Yay. Right. Run down this. Oh, come on. I was right near the end. I was near the bloody end! Damn this game! <laughs> From Zelda Breath of the Wild. Oh! <laughs> I think I know what you're meaning. Um, I've not really played uh, Breath of the Wild uh, properly, <laughs> to be fair. Keep on meaning to, but I've not had the chance to. Literally just one little teeny tiny step and that's Lady it. Lady Yuna, so it is you. Hi, Asaru. Why are you here? It's clear we rode the to airship to the calm lands, then came to Bevel. Maester Kinnock summoned us then. It's Kinnock, not Kinnock. Deal with the traitors. <sighs> you will fight us. Google it. The we'll do. Definitely will Google. Even if you are Lord Raska's flesh and blood, you're a traitor. Eeny. His guardians. I don't see them. Maroda and Pase are not here. Oh. <laughs> I will do this unhappy deed Even myself. they had enough of your bull then. Forgive me, Lady Yuna. Alright, now for this bit, it's a summoning battle. And the first one is Ifrit, as you can see there, which is the fire type. So, which Aeon should I use? pretty clear which one. I'm going to be using Shiva because she is the ice type. So. Your Aeons against mine. That's fine by me. Summon. Oh, I'm looking at the overdrive. This might be risky. I'm just thinking. I think I'm using uh, Shiva's collateral damage and then I might swap in uh, Bahamut which is our brand new Aeon that we haven't used yet uh, Heavenly Strike She'll probably be immune Oh! Whoa! I killed it! I killed it! Ha! <laughs> Bye Ifrit! Bye Ifrit! But his Aeons must be poop Alright, uh, next up Trying to remember, let's see. Veil for which is our first day on that we had, and it was immune. Yes, <laughs> it was immune to the delay, um, its movement. <laughs> that was the it's bit that it was immune yet. to, I believe. Right, next we shall use Bahamut. Now, there's actually three hidden aeons in this game as well that we can actually use. Three different uh, summons, should I say, uh, that are hidden. Uh, they're completely optional, but obviously I want to get them and everything. What in the name of all that's holy is that? <laughs> uh, this is the Hamut. <laughs> this is our non-elemental uh, type summon as well. Uh, <laughs> use Impulse. No, no, the other one. Oh, uh, Veilfor. That one that's literally died. The flesh wing looking. Yes, 
That one's fail for. That's actually the very first summon that we actually get in the game. And then we get Bahamut. Right, so we can't use Bahamut again. So, mm, trying to think which one should I use. I think I'll use Ixion in this one. Not let you pass. What well, tough titty? You're gonna let me pass, whether you want to or not. Face the wrath of my electric unicorn. Who? Because I said Mohammed, and that can't be right. Way to the surface up ahead. Thank you. <laughs> We're just leaving him there. <laughs> Your pilgrimage is over. Um, what gives you the right to say that it's over? What the hell gave you the right? Alright, so I believe. Yep, yeah, next up we've got. Tidus, Waka, and Riku. We've got these guys to actually escape now. So let's get right into it. Stay away, proceed to approach him. Yeah, basically, we don't care. <laughs> we don't give a damn. Now we've got actual fishies. Right, you know what? Uh, no, not item. Special. Actually, do we have... Yes, I do. Go. So we'll just stick with Devastator. Alright, so we're gonna go in here. Okay. 
Oh shoot, I did skip for Riku. Right, special, let's use again. Right, lightning gem, go for it. That looks like a thing from my nightmare. Yeah, basically it will be, isn't it? <laughs> but at least we defeated it, that's the main thing. Um, the next one, um, for the bosses, in a way, anyway, is actually called Evray. Now, we actually defeated Evray before. However, this is obviously a shadow of its former self, so it's a zombie type. But it's actually one of the easiest ones to do. It worked, huh? Yeah. Those are things there are fireflies. That's like the soul coming in. And here we go, is Evray. Hi, Evre. How you doing? How's it going? Alright, so... Trigger command. Let's open the lock. Now, I believe that... Um... Ah, right, okay. So, we're not going to actually open the lock because I believe that there's actually a way for us to actually miss things. So, we're just going to defeat it and then we're going to swim around. zombie. Yeah, not really, but you can actually attack it using the um, spells as well. Like the magic spells for healing. But we defeated it, so that's the main thing. Dive down, please. Wee, dive down. Let's try and see if it's a chest that I can use. I think this is going back. Yeah, this is going back. Not a problem. Wait, how are they breathing underwater? Uh, the simplest way that I can actually say is that it's um, magic, basically. I mean, you should see what the other mini game is for this which is a uh, blitz ball which is basically underwater football and basketball merged together basically that's the best way i can put it yeah right th there we go we got rematch and i believe that the next one is probably the avenger but it to be honest with you i'm not fussed if we miss the Avenger. Oh, we got the Avenger. Yay! My, ba my brain has been transformed into mush. Not a problem. I get it. <laughs> I completely get it. Welcome to the world of Japanese role-playing games. <laughs> Welcome to JRPGs, where nothing makes any sense. <laughs> oh! The Lost Girl 97 has followed. Thank you very much for the follow, Lost Girl. I very much appreciate it. Every law of thermodynamics and physics is being violated. Yep, that's basically the gist of it with Final Fantasy games, to tell you the truth. There's no logic. <laughs> the only one that I've actually played that ha seems to have some form of logic in a way is um, Final Fantasy 7 maybe, and Final Fantasy XV, but they still have magic involved. Yoni! You're alright? We were so worried. It's good to have you back. <sighs> Thank you. Um, I... Uh... You okay there, Tidus? You sound broken. Oh, here we go. Seymour! Yay! You can still have magic, yeah. If you want one that seems to have a lot more realism, I would definitely say um, have um, 
have a look at 15 or 7 Remake, maybe, if you want something with a bit more realism to it. Oh, Lost Girl, sorry my Twitch was being dumb. Oh, not a problem, don't worry. Why, you? I have saved Oh, well, Keenock is dead. <laughs> he was a man who craved power. Yeah, like you. And great power he had, but he feared losing it. Oh, what they fucking do? It sounds Trembling like everybody. Trembling unseen enemies, <laughs> he spent his days scheming petty schemes. Chased by his fears, never knowing rest. You see, now he has no worries. He has been granted sleep eternal. Yo, Death cuckoo. is a sweet slumber. All the pain with of great life power is comes great responsibility. Away. Yeah, basically, yeah. <laughs> yes. You just come out with some very good lines. So I'm not gonna lie. If all I was gonna say to that. Oh, you kind of got beaten. All suffering would end. Don't you see? Do you not agree? That, Yuna, is why I need you. Oh boy. Come, Lady Yuna. Come with me to Zanarkand. The lost city of the dead. With death on our side, we will save Spira. And for this... I'm too quick. <laughs> I will take from you your strength, Yuna. Your life and become the next sin. I will destroy Spira. I will save it. You're totally so your not. way of saving the world is destroying the world. <laughs> what type of logic is that? Oh yeah, um, he's undead as well, by the way. The reason why he's still here is because Yuna I'm hasn't right. sent him to basically this version of Very heaven, well. which is I will give um, you your death. You called the to want it, so. Um, are you feeling better, buddy? Yes, I am. Thank you so much for asking. Yeah, for some odd reason, I just ended up with quite a bit of a headache. No idea why. I, I get them quite a few times, though, to be fair. Oh, so you're sacrificing everybody to transform yourself into an enemy again? Is that what you're doing? That's what you're doing? Big Simo? Is that what you're doing? Yeah, that's exactly what you're doing. There he is. Good old Seymour. I'm sorry, again? Yes. <laughs> We've actually defeated him once before. And now we have to defeat Run, him multiple times. Yuna. Go! No! No way! I'm fighting! Uh-oh. I said go! Sorry, Aaron. Alright, running away. I'll run. Fine. Running away. Catch you later, Kimari. I hope you survive. I love the fact that Lulu is just walking, just like, okay, la 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 la. What's this? What do we need for the scream? I won't leave Kamari behind. He's a guardian. Protecting you is everything. He is just standing there patiently as they are arguing. Yeah, basically. Right. We're all guardians. Yeah, and you know what that means? Yuna, anywhere you go, I'll follow. Anywhere I go? Yeah, anywhere. Alrighty then. Well, then. Let's, Let's go. go. <laughs> I said it with the Leave some brilliant. <laughs> Save hey, some of for for us. Me too. Go, everyone. Where are you two? Are you going? I'll go too. Run, Lulu, with your big dress, <laughs> which has loads of belts on it. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna start out our party first. Uh, sorry Waka, but you're going to be replaced by Oren, and we're going to stick with these three because they have a trigger command in this where they can actually talk to him. You're quite popular these days, eh? Yeah, don't mind me if it's popular. <laughs> I'm joking. Right, come on, what have you got? Items? Oh, I can buy one. Yay! I bought an item. Okay. Trader or no, Lady Yoon has always been a friend to Awaka. You might want to be careful saying that, Awaka, because you are literally in the deep end right now let's go oh boy okay slash uh block magic you got fire perfect go all right we can't reach him because he's too far away so we gotta go for these guys just casual shopping while the world is being destroyed. Yeah, basically, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like, don't mind us, we're just doing um, a regular shop. 
<laughs> Should have seen it before when it was um, this massive uh, army operation and we were just there, just like, yeah, we're just shopping, we're just passing through. Don't mind us. <laughs> it's pretty random, to be fair. Oh my god, your VTuber. Yes, my VTuber is so cute. Oh, thank you. I actually made her. I made her using, um, what's it called? A uh, V-Roid Studio. Ah! Mimi! Heal us. Thank you. <laughs> there we go. Move forward. Nice. Yep. Alright. Uh, fire. I think Yuna needs to learn the next one. Wait, is Owen's health going up when he gets hurt? Uh, no, that's the overdrive bar at the bottom. Um, you can't really see with, because of my VTuber being a bit in the way. Um, but you see the, there's HP and then there's a number. That's the HP there. The bar at the bottom is the overdrive, which is basically like a limit break, like a special move kind of thing. Ah, yeah, it is a bit confusing, um, the layout that they have with it, I'm not gonna lie, but, you know, that's the way they wanted to do it. <laughs> In the past, they did actually have a health bar as well as the number. Oh, I was about to flip. Yeah, to be honest with you, if I was actually able to do that, you know, where he attacks and then his health goes up, that would be, like, literally amazing. But unfortunately, no. Right, we're saving the overdrive for Tidus, though, for when we actually get up to the fight for um, Seymour. Because we're actually going to use it against him. And hopefully I'll be able to actually do what I need to do in order to get it to the maximum capacity, if that makes sense. The maximum health thing for him. There we go. Nice. Alright. So. There we are. Save. Open this. Nice. And let's just go straight into the fight. I thought he was like an anti-man where he gets, where if he gets full health he dies or something, I don't know, magic. Yeah, um, we don't have this type of magic. <laughs> that would be a bit confusing, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> oh, Kimari, I didn't want you. No offense, Kimari, I did not want you. 36,000 HP with so, that. you too seek freedom from this painful life? You talk too much, Seymour. <laughs> We talked to him, and then he says, you talk too much. Talk. It is good to see you again, Lady Yuna, but you don't seem pleased. Yeah, because you're still I'll here. I'll be pleased when you're gone to the far plane. Nice. All right, Kimari. Sorry, you mean swapped out for Oren. Although he was not the man I once knew, Kinok was still my friend, Seymour. You will pay for his death! Oh, Orin's pissed. Multi blitz out. Oh. Not on me! Don't use it on me! Yeah, her is fine. <laughs> uh, you know what? Actually, we are gonna have you use white magic and we're gonna get you to cure. See this again? Get his health back up. Far Plane being the hell. Oh, Far Plane is basically like their version of heaven. When you die and you actually get sent by a summoner, um, which is basically like a ritual kind of thing, almost like a funeral, you get, your soul gets sent to the Far Plane. If it doesn't, you get turned into the enemies that are around the area of the map. But in the case of Seymour, he has such a strong connection to the world if that makes sense like he has a task that he needs to do aka destroy the world and um, he is still in his human form i hope that makes sense it's a bit confusing i'm not gonna lie uh, energy ring yes let's use that come on oh poop no 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 i didn't get it back 
that's fine. It will still do some form of damage. Whee! Can't see this. Ooh! Oh, blitz ace! Yes, I got it! Yes! My brain went from mush to smooth and liquid. Oh, sorry for the confusion there. Right, if we defeat this thing, it's just going to take health off him to heal itself. So that's a good way to actually defeat it, in a way. Break. What are you going to do for us with break? Sugar lumps! Okay, he's petrified. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. Soft. Yes. Go, Waka. Ooh, okay. Good job I did that in time, because if it was actually Tidus' turn, he would have shattered if I didn't get that done. Right, you know what? Uh, Lulu, bring you in. Let's get you doing some it. Uh, Blitzara. Go on, just use it. Nice. We're just gonna attack this one for the time being, because... Like I said, it absorbs the health and everything. Uh, Tidus, swap you out for Kibari for now. Let's get you to attack him. Nice. I can make a bad pun slash joke about going hard, but I'ma stop myself. <laughs> oh, that's fine. That's okay. Don't worry. And... Yep. Yeah. Okay. Riku, you've now had a turn. Let's get you to just do this. There we go. There, now everybody's going to get some form of experience from the fight, so that's great. Alright, so... 1,000... Let's just attack him now. You know what, uh, special... Let's go for steel. Tetra elemental, okay. Uh, wow, he used flare. That's actually pretty high level magic. Okay, uh, Lancet. Can you actually learn anything from this guy? No. Okay. Go. End the fight. Aw, oh, you didn't do it. Go on, Riku. End the fight. Nice. Alright, so that's that boss done. <laughs> 4,200, nice. Yeah, the maximum damage that you can actually do at this moment is 9,999. Um, but you can actually get a break damage limit equipped onto your weapons. And that boosts it up to 99,999. So imagine that. Yeah, basically, yeah, that's the max amount. <laughs> In English, we escaped please. with our skins in Basically, a lot of damage. Lost <laughs> I could already tell her faith was shaken. Yevon had betrayed her. I felt like I should do yeah, or that's say the highest. something. Yeah, that's the highest. Ninety-nine thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine. But nothing yeah, came. That's the maximum amount of damage in the entire game that you can actually and use. And then, all right, so we made it out, and we're in Macalania Woods. Well, we're all clear. Hey! We will have to avoid Bevel in the future. Yuna? Said you wanted to be alone. Of course. Alright, we're getting up to my favorite um, scenes in the game. Must be tough fair. for Yuna. Yeah, I wasn't actually going to talk to you. I was actually going to use this fate. We leave at daybreak. All right, I don't care. Out where we're going, that is. Can I use the save sphere? Ah, oh, screw it. Maybe you should talk to her. Yeah, I think everybody's just going to say the same thing, aren't they? Wonder what Uni will do, huh? Think she'll quit her pilgrimage? That's what you want, right? Well, if Uni really wants to keep going, then I guess I shouldn't stop her. You know? That's what I think, anyway. 
Yeah, the pilgrimage is the journey that all summoners go and do in order to get ready to defeat Sin and obtain the final summoning, which is the only way you can defeat Sin. However, there is a big, like, impact to he that and to be honest with you we actually Tomorrow find that out way. during the uh, plot line and that is actually a very important part of the plot so i'm not going to spoil it just in case if you actually do want to play it but we have already learned what it is at this point oh i was wondering where you were kamari you're watching over yuna yeah you're telling me to go over to her no worries kamari one of my favourite areas. Look at this. Isn't that amazing view? I always thought that this would be easier somehow. I thought that everyone would help me with all my friends together beside me. I've been trying so hard. Yeah, you have, Yuna. But to be honest with you, you have kind of pushed us to the side a bunch of times, you know? Maybe you're trying too hard. They told me everything. Everything? Yep. We well, know Sonny, everything. <laughs> you know. Yep, that we do. We know. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's just, you know, all those things I said. Like, let's go get Sin, or about Xanarkand. I didn't know what would happen to you, Yuna. I guess... I hope it didn't make you sad. Forgive me. I wasn't sad. No, I don't think you were sad at all. I was happy. Yeah. Because <laughs> that was what she wanted to do, sort of thing, you know? <gasps> <laughs> Just swim around. Why not? Yuna! Just don't do it. The pilgrimage? Yeah. <sighs> Be honest with you, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's right. Forget all about sin, uh, about being a summoner. Forget all of that. Mm, you know, live a normal life. Come on now, Yuna. What do you say? See, the thing is, ever since she was younger, she wanted to be a summoner, Maybe like her I father know. before her. Uh, and now, because of everything going on, she doesn't know what to do. So I can definitely see why she has that confusion. Because it is definitely a bit bad. Be surprised. Yeah. Except Riku. She'd be with you. I think everybody secretly would Waka be. wouldn't hold out long. Kamari would say yes too, I know. But Sir Oren. I'll make him understand, Yuna. It's the least I can do for you. No. I should tell him. He deserves it. <laughs> She's what just floating now. <laughs> if I give up my pilgrimage. Take it mm. easy. Relax. Hey! Xanarkin! Let's go to Xanarkin! Uh, uh, not the one in Spira, the one I'm from. Uh -huh. Yeah, there's a difference between his Xanarkin yeah. and this we world's Xanarkin. Um, yeah, everyone can go. Basically, then from we'll what we know at this at moment, place. is. And then we could see Blitz. He just actually right. teleported Your a Xanarkin thousand Apes years into the yeah. future. We could all watch you play in the stadium all lit up at night. I cheer and cheer till I couldn't cheer anymore. Yeah, right on. Well, what about after the game? 
sleep. Huh? We go out and have fun. In the middle of the night? <laughs> no problem. Xanarkid never sleeps. Let's go to the sea. Before the sunrise. The city lights go out one by one. The stars fade. Okay. Then the horizon glows, almost like it's on fire. Ow. That actually sounds pretty cool. It's kind of rose-colored, right? First in the sea, then it spreads to the sky, then to the whole city. It gets brighter and brighter, till everything glows. Wow. It's actually really a pretty good way to describe it, there, to pretty. be honest. I know you'd like it. <laughs> Sounds lovely. Hmm. I'd like to see it. Someday. Well, you can, Yuna. We can both go. Oh. Little drop. Oh, she's crying. Oh, Jesus. Tidus, you... what did you say to her? <laughs> what did I you can't... do? I just can't. We're getting up to my favourite cutscene now for the whole game. I can't go. <laughs> Come on, get to the cutscene. Come on, you know you want to. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Come on, Tita, so you know you can do it. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Not the way he looks at a man. Hey! <laughs> Yippee! It happened! <laughs> <laughs> Just fall into the water. Oh, the song that's playing is called Suteki Dane, which is spelled in the title of the um, stream, and it's by an artist called Riki. R I K K I. And it's such a lovely song, it really is. I'm talking over it at the minute because, you know, copyright. But, um,. <laughs> Honestly, I would recommend YouTube it and definitely listen to it. Yeah, hype. It's such a big hype. Because <laughs> throughout this entire game, it was like a will they, won't they. And now it's like a yes, they did it. <laughs> Aww, it's so sweet. Aww. You gonna kiss again? Of course you are. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> um, if you don't want to listen to the Japanese version of this song, which is playing, there's actually um, an English version that was sung by, I um, can't remember her name, Susan Calloway, I believe it is. 90% of the budget went into this cutscene. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, yeah. And there's also other um, cutscenes that are like this style, but you can definitely tell that a lot of money went into that. But, um, no, that song, um, it was used in their orchestra um, world tours that they've done called Distant Worlds. And I would definitely I'll recommend continue. searching that. I must. If I give up now, I could do anything I wanted to. And yet, even if I was with you, I could never forget. Oh, so she is going to continue even with what I'll happens go with to you. her. 
I'm your guardian. <laughs> that is true. You are her guardian. Oh, Fired. Yeah, the other people who travel with the summoners are called guardians because they're there to guard her, to protect. Stay with me until the end, please. Not until the end. Always. Oh, that line! Oh, that's so sweet. Always then. Oh, it's so cute. You alright there, Kamari? Oh, yeah! <laughs> he, he did a little smile. Maybe he saw the whole thing. You should head back to camp first. <laughs> Roger. Aww. The way they're looking at each other, man. It's so cute. But always is to the end. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, not gonna lie, yeah, it kind of is. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people actually say that as well. <laughs> oh, whistle! <laughs> Wait, I'll go with you. Well, that didn't last long. <laughs> no, we <it> didn't. <laughs> All right, there's everyone. We're back. Yeah, she's not quitting at all. She's continuing. Immediately ditched her. Nope, there she is. <laughs> um. Sir Oren? Waka? Lulu? Kamari? Riku? Don't forget me! Everyone, we leave at dawn. <laughs> she won't say our name and because we can actually name I'm ourselves sorry for in you this. Through all this. And um. Ina. You need your rest. Yes. Good night. Night night. <laughs> Morning. All right, there are actually a couple of extra bits that we can actually do right now. However, I'm actually not going to do them just yet. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to continue with the story and we actually go back to the um, airship in order to actually travel to the places that we've already been before and do all the extras and everything. And for that, um, when we get to that point, um, I will be doing the extras. Um, talking to this woman is also giving us a little bit of an added extra, so I'm actually going to just continue and go down this path. And we will do all the extras later on. So the next area we're going to is the Calm Lands, and then we'll end up at Mount Gagazet, which is the home of the Ronso, which is the, br the race that is Kimari. Kimari is a Ronso. So we shall save here and let's continue up to the calm lands. There is actually an extra that I can actually do here though, but I am actually going to go do that straight away. Welcome to the, the Calm Lands, everyone. Long ago, the High Summoners fought Sin here. The road ends here. Beyond, there are no towns, no villages, only endless plains. Okay. Many Summoners stray from their path and lose their way here. Heaven? <laughs> it kind of is, in a way. <laughs> Basically, when we defeat Sin... Um, the time of peace is actually called the calm. 
And this place is called the Calm Lands because this is obviously where summoners used to fight um, Sin. You okay there, Yuna? I've always known where to go. Good for you. Now, just to let everybody know as well, though, for the game, there are loads of extras to do, and I'm not actually going I, to stream all of them. I won't let you die. But I will stream little bits somehow. here and there. Like, um, obviously, the Blitzball games, I'll be streaming that. I will be streaming the Dark Aeons fight along with the Super Boss for that. I'll be streaming the Omega Ruins, which is a hidden area. And the obviously, the hidden Aeons obtaining them. That's what we'll be streaming as an extra. Is it eventful in the calm lands? Well, there's a lot of stuff I that can you, happen in here. I would find a way. Not a lot really uh, happens story-wise, but there's I like little added bits that we can I actually do. I wanted to do. believe that words could make it come true. All right, so let's go. Ah, Machen, right there with the green hat. That is actually our scholar. He'll tell us things. Perhaps you would like to know a bit about these planes. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. As you know, these planes were once a battlefield. A great battle between Bavel and Zanakan, the melee of Machina. That war left this place a barren, lifeless land. Then time passed. The summoners took note of this uninhabited land. Great battles could be fought here with no harm to the common folk. Perfect for a final battle with sin, as it were. Summoners wait here, ready to perform the final summoning. Ah, to know what they must feel. In any case, when sin is defeated here, the calm will visit Spira once more. That's why this place is now known as the calm lands. Exactly who dubbed it so is unknown. And that, as they say, is that. Not a problem, thank you. Uh, Doom Robber, uh, I have a little dog that needs to pee. Oh, yeah, sort out your doggy. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, we don't want to have any issues with that, do we? <laughs> we'll get through this. All right, let's go. Let's just swap to Lulu for now. And let's do Blitzara. On there. Yeah, um, just let you know, guys know for the uh, stream, um, we'll be going to do the um, the summoning battle with Belgamine because she is actually here in this area. And that's what we need to do to get one of the hidden aeons. And then I'm going to go to the... Um, place in the middle which has save point and then that's probably going to be the end of the stream for today um, but I will be back actually tomorrow at the same time um, to continue with the game but in the meantime I will probably be doing a bit of leveling up on the uh, characters and everything when I have enough time um, hopefully maybe try and fill the uh, sphere grid for most people as well and Lulu's not really looking very well Farewell. there we go um, so yeah we're just going to continue for a little bit longer and then we'll go from there so let's just heal there we go now I can actually use all my items now because we're actually getting quite Pretty much near the end, story-wise, if that makes sense. Ah, I know this guy. He can actually take us to the uh, shop in the middle, which is where it has the save point. Yeah, we definitely need to give her the higher level magic. So we're definitely going to do quite a bit of leveling up in the, um, in the game. Let's do this. Because the way that I like to do it is if the if the enemies are using the higher level moves or magic or anything like that, then that's the place where I need to be for my leveling. That's the way I do it. And with the sphere grid, it is actually 
a pretty good way to level up because you can actually choose what to have, what not to have for certain characters. But there is actually a trophy or an achievement, depending on what your system is, where you actually um, get one for filling up the entire sphere grid for your characters. And I have actually done that in this one, and it's hit, well, not in this particular playthrough, but on this particular version of the game, and it takes bloody age to do it. Put it lightly. It does take a long time to do so, and it's very easy to actually forget as well. But I've actually seen people actually play this on a no sphere grid, um, like version of the game walkthrough. And I honestly, you know what? Hats off to you guys for doing that. But honestly, I would not be able to, to tell you the truth. It's a bit of a difficult one for me. Not gonna lie, but hats off to everybody who does that. And I mean that, like, wholeheartedly, because there's no way I would have been able to do it, to tell you the truth. Yes, I'm a gamer. Yes, I love this game, and I have played this a hell of a lot. But there's no way I would, like, do challenges in that particular form. Right, the, one of the challenges that I did was actually on the stream and I actually did try and do complete Final Fantasy 13 in 13 days and to tell you the truth I, I did get really close but I had to give up at one point because the game was just frustrating me way too much way too much you're quite the notorious trailer like I just got to the point and I hit a wall what's it to you <laughs> oh you shouldn't take what the maester say too seriously for summoners, destroying sin is everything. We are no tools of Yevon. Understand? Yes. So, oh, yes. are you up to the task? You can definitely tell with the Japanese. She literally just know, went, hi. But I will do my best. You've got spirit, but you'll need more to beat sin. An Aeon duel. Show me what you're made of. Will do. Excellent. But before we begin, I've just healed your aeons for you. Let us begin. Alrighty. Shiva. Yeah, because we haven't actually done the fight with uh, Shiva. You know, with her against Shiva yet. But in order to get the... Um, Choose your aeon well. One somewhere. of the hidden aeons, we've got to defeat her with every single... Aeon, including the hidden Aeons, and then that completes her story arc. So it is very important to do this. You know, you have to make sure that every time you actually see her, you actually do interact and fight. Because she actually gives you really good items as well. Like, I think it was the second and the third, which is this one, I believe. Um, she actually gives you a uh, ring. Know, or like summon a soul, Aeon soul and things like that and they can actually help you level up your Aeon to say the least. Use impulse, hopefully this will defeat you in one go. Oops. Not yet, that's fine. Select attributes in the Aeon, oh, we're not even up to that point yet. <laughs> again I think my leveling's not really gone so good but you know what we're doing fine keep on attacking her and it will be done soon hopefully there we go we got a critical hit as well on us so that was good Stop. That is enough. You're only saying that is enough because we defeated you, Wolf. <laughs> there we go. <sighs> Impressive. Remarkable talent. Thank you. Traitor or no, you may have what it takes to beat Sin. 
Take this. You have earned it. Power sphere. Aeon soul. There we Thank go. Thank you. I think you will do just fine. But if you ever feel like you want more training, seek the hidden temple of Remium. I will be waiting there. Farewell. Thank you. And in order to get there, we need to do the chocobo training. And that actually is one of the um, things that I haven't actually done um, in my achievements. Which is anything to do with the chocobos, really. Which is the chocobo racing and the chocobo training. Um, I've not got the two achievements for them. But once I've got them, then I will actually get the platinum, basically. And I'm saying it on PlayStation terms because... This original game did come out on PlayStation 2. So, yeah, that's how I'm talking about it, basically. <laughs> right, so this is just telling me how to do the leveling up thing. So, yeah, just tell me how to do it. It's basically the same as the others. It's just size attributes. That's fine. All right, so, yeah, that's where we need to go. Over here. After this fight. This one is mine. You can defeat these guys first. Lulu, what do you need to do? Uh, da -da -da. We'll go for electric on this one. There we go. All right, let's get you to defeat this guy. Wow, you're missing quite a bit, Kimari. Have you got like blind or something? Pretty extreme that he keeps on missing. I don't know what's going on there. I have to sort out his um, accuracy or something on that. That's pretty. That's a pretty low situation right now. Go on, try again. There we go. Yeah, I think we need to sort out your um, attributes there, Kimari. You seem to be missing quite a bit recently. All right, let's go in here. Lovely. So, who's gonna come up to us? Uh-oh. Someone from Yevon. Father Zook. Long time no see. You are Yunon? Hmm. You certainly don't look like Mr. Kinok's murderer. Eh? What you say? Oh, excuse me. Uh, I am not uh, a guado uh, and I am not uh, a man. Please, tell so us Of course what's I don't look like him. Mr. Micah just issued a personal order, you know. It said that you and your guardians murdered Maester Kinok and fled. We are to kill you on sight, or so it says. Bloody hell. What of Bavel? Things are calm on the surface, but the depths are turbulent. After the death of Maester Kinok, Kelk Ronso left Yevon. Convenient. <laughs> yeah. Getting around will be easier with Yevon in disarray. But to be honest, I think he was going to quit anyways but after finding careful, out about my Seymour. Friends. You have been branded enemies of Yevon. You should avoid temples for the time being. Thank you, Father Zook, for your warning. Luckily enough, Father, there's no more the proper here, temples, just to, tell us to say this? the least, where they actually do the have truth, Yevon I was a little priests curious in to there. See so that's the good thing about it. Guarding. I hope her pilgrimage goes well. For your sake, too. Thank you, Father. I must be off. I shall pray for all of you. Yeah, that's a little added um, extra, that bit, to say the least. Care to explain, Lulu? No? Okay. Messy. Definitely what messy. Is... Yevon, Micah and Seymour are not of one mind. Remember what Seymour said last we met. I do not think Micah will concur. She's not stopping, is she? Nope. Yuna, she's made her decision. That but she has. I can't just let her go. We won't have to. We'll save Yuna even if she calls the final Aeon. But how? Mm, I'll think of a way. But what if you can't? I'm tired of talking to you. It's always but this, but that. But... 
That is an overbus. Let's think together. <laughs> okay. And if we can't think of something, we find another way. Okay. There's definitely gotta be a way to do it. So, we are officially traitors then. Hey, let them say what they want. It's it's okay. I'm not worried. Well, maybe just a little. It's so hard not to be. Hey, it's okay to worry. And if it gets too rough, just yell. Yell. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I might just do that. Yeah. Not a bad idea, I suppose. Who was that? Until half a year ago, he was a summoner. Waka and I were his guardians. It's kind of a short pilgrimage. He gave up halfway. Here, on this plane. Now he is a monk at the Bavel Temple. Yep, so that was an interesting one then for you guys, when wasn't it? When I was it? guarding you. <laughs> I already told you this, yeah? About when I was too into the game to be a good guardian. So, when Father Zook said he wanted out, Tell you the truth, I was kind of glad. Yeah, that's fair enough. Kamari, you got anything to say, buddy? Gadazet is Ronso land. Kamari home. Hmm. Uh, hey, we might meet your family. Kamari has no family. Ooh. Oh, uh, sorry. But Kamari not alone. All right. So what we're going to do is we're just going to quickly walk out. There we go. And we can walk back in. And look at this. Everybody just stays there anyway. <laughs> I just wanted to show you guys that like they literally do just stay here. But later on, they do actually come back out again. If that makes sense. So what we're going to do is we're going to equip these. Because they actually give us extra bit on. There we go. Uh, yep. Yeah. And there we go. And I'm actually going to equip sensor on some of these as well. Uh, Seeker shield stuff that's fine but i'll show you what i mean with the customized see here we can actually customize our weapons right now so what we're going to do is we are going to sort our equipment there you go so everybody's equipment is basically all sorted sorry i'm pressing wrong buttons Customize. So what we're going to do is we're going to customize our weapons. So we just need to find the one that we just recently bought. Which should be actually equipped. We're not going to go one for Tidus, that's fine. But we could actually do the one for your shield. And we could actually equip a certain thing as well. But um, for the shield, I'm actually not particularly fussed about right now. I'm just showing you that we can. See, look, we could even give, like, HP plus 30. Imagine the boost on that. But what we're going to do is we're just going to focus on the weapons. So, yeah. So we're going to give you sensor because then that way you can actually see what's happening. And it will also change how the weapon actually looks as well. And you can see which one is actually the equipped because it has a little purple um, triangle in the corner. If you see there. If you can't really see it, um, I can show you later on, I guess. But yeah, see here, we can actually get all of this extra stuff that we can actually use on that. So I'm going to try and sort out what to put on these particular ones. But you see break HP limit and everything, it means that it will exceed the certain thing. So yeah, we can even get one where, it's, where it actually gets rid of all of the status ailments so it wouldn't actually work if that makes sense on them but for now i'm not particularly fussed if that makes sense there is one though that i do need to put on at least a few of them and yeah see there you can also have break damage limit just wanted to show that as well so um yeah that's pretty much what we could put on these but there is actually um, like high, like the highest level weapons that you can actually have are the um, 
celestial weapons, which are like extra bits. And I will be showing you how to do some of them, but not all of them. Because I want to, like, just in case with certain people, um, like, they might not want it to be, like, a massive shock, if that makes sense. So there we go, we got everybody sorted. Alright, so we're going to save. And you know what? We actually are going to carry on in this particular bit until we get to Mount Gagazet. I think, you know, we, because I believe there's actually a boss fight further up from what I remember. So what we're going to do is we're just going to continue. Um, like I said before, there are extra bits that we can do in this particular area, but I'm not going to do them just now until we actually get the... Uh, the only way to go is forward. The uh, airship, sorry. I'm trying to, trying to speak. It's not working. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, Fondara on this. There we go. Kimari, let's get you to attack this guy. If you keep on missing, I'm gonna swap you out, Kimari. Doing a bit poopy. Nice. Yeah, we're swapping Kimari out for sure. He's not doing so good. But yeah, that's fine. Go nice. Alright, we're going to start out our formation for this particular area right now and also the boss fight at the end just to start off with. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring Tidus back, we're going to stick with Waka and we're going to have Yuna as well. There we go. Sorted. That's my basic go-to uh, team at the minute and then most of the time I do swap out Oren because he is my, um, my heavy hitter. Oh, down there um, at the green square on the minimap is actually the monster arena and that is for capturing, um, I clicked the wrong um, enemy, <laughs> that is basically another hidden thing that I can do, um, I will be doing that on my own, but there is like a boss at the end of it called uh, Nemesis and I will be showing you that specific fight. It's just that with the uh, with the enemies and everything, the capturing, it takes ages, and it's literally every single area, including the end area, pretty much of the game. So it takes ages. So I will basically show you how to do that probably after after I've actually done like most of the um, end bit. If that makes sense. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright, you know what? Kamari, you're coming back in. Use a lancet on that kitty, please. Because I'm pretty sure you can get loads of it. No, you don't. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> it's probably because you already have it. Yes, please. Please. Oh, poop. Uh oh. You're gonna shatter? No, he's not gonna shatter. Whew, okay. Right, we're stopped. There it is. I hate petrification. There we go. Yay! There you go, Kimari. You've done a thing. Nice. There we go. Yeah, I'm also going to be leveling up the characters quite a bit as well um, in this. What am I doing? There, that's better. <laughs> What was I doing there? I was swapping the wrong person. Um, so, yeah, basically, I'm just going to be doing a few added extras and everything in my own time. So. Alright, so... Ice, ice. It's pretty much ice all the time. So, alright. Lizard, use it on that thing, please. Nice. And, go on, Waka. Nice. And... Let's do another blizzard. There we go. And there we go. Pretty good. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, so we're just going to continue up this path. This is why I don't like this area. There's a lot. <laughs> There's a lot of uh, things going on. I've used fire by accident. 
Oops, didn't mean to do that. Just take it. Yep. Ah, I'm happy on that one. All right. <laughs> Thunder, 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 thunder. I don't know why I clicked fire by accident. I think I just clicked, like, speed. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Oh, rough play. I don't know what that weapon is. I'll have to look into that. There we go. Just go up here. And every time I say that, there's another fight. Do you actually have... Yes. Thank you. <laughs> First time I've used flea. I've just had enough of the fights in this area. Like, get me out of here, please. I don't really want to level up here just yet. I'm going to do that in my own time, obviously. But I want to carry on with the story. So I'm going to do that later. Uh, special flea. Go. Thank you. <laughs> Go down here. There we go. Save. And I'm actually going to be leaving the stream here for today. Um, we've made a hell of a lot of progress here, actually. I'm very, very happy with how much we've actually done. So, thank you all very, very much for joining me. I very much appreciate it. Um, if you actually want to follow, um, if you haven't yet, that would be fantastic. At least then, as well, you'll be able to be notified whenever I'm live as well. Um, I've got a Twitter feed, at QTBunny5. I'm back. What did I miss? Oh, we just made it through the, uh, the main bulk of the Calm Lands, and that's practically it. Are you kidding me? Uh, yeah, unfortunately, I'm so sorry. I am so, so sorry. But I will be back tomorrow at 5 p.m. GMT if you want to join me again. Um, I might be streaming a little bit earlier as well as an added extra stream. Maybe. I will let you know on the Twitter um, I also got the YouTube stream archive as well um, if you want to uh, binge watch this particular series so you know what really what's going on. Uh, there's a Discord server as well that's got the link on my uh, Twitter, uh, on my Twitter, on my uh, Twitch channel. Um, and I've also got merchandise available on Redbubble courtesy of Sigma FM. So as I said before, um, I will be back uh, tomorrow. At 5 p.m. GMT, continuing this lovely, lovely game. So, yeah, thank you all very, very much for joining me. And I hope to see you all for the next one. Bye for now. <laughs>